right on a shoreline. Good shooting, dude. Some days don't go as you expect, but then you introduce someone to the thermal hunting world. My buddy Mark bailed me out of a flat tire situation, and I invited him to stay and hunt. We drove to an area that I know has dominant boars that pass through. I set up a hog decoy with my convergent hunting solution bullet. We tried calling for the next 30 to 45 minutes with no luck until the sun set. We moved to a different part of the property that I know has major trails that cross through. For the next 30 minutes, we tried calling. Again, no luck. We then moved to a different hill that I spotted fresh hog signs about a week ago. I booted up sow hysteria, and within minutes, a small sounder came running in. They came in so quickly, Mark was unable to locate them with the Flora 736 Thermosite Pro. I swung him around trying to direct him, but trying to find a target with a six-time zoom at roughly 30 yards is very hard for an inexperienced thermal hunter. Talk about a major hog rush. We moved to the other side of the property to hunt over a feeder. I spotted with my mini eye ray what I believe was a beaver in the pond. I confirmed it with my Fleur 736 Thermosite Pro. The beaver was constantly moving around, making it difficult for Mark to line up on him with a six-time zoom scope. Amazingly, this beaver crawled up to the shoreline. Beaver down. Good shot, dude. Mark made a perfect shot at 92 yards with my Aero Precision 6.5 Creedmoor using the Hornady 123 grain SST. This is very impressive considering Mark has never practiced with this gun, has never shot standing with a tripod, and has never used a thermal before. It was such a good shot, I skinned it to be hung at the ranch house. This was Mark's first beaver ever. Congratulations. I'll be spending the rest of the week here hunting. Mark's coming out later during the week to break in his own 6.5 Creedmoor and Athlon scope, which I'm really excited to peek through. So stay tuned for my next adventure.